so I am at school on this lovely Saturday and I'm going to give you guys just a quick classroom tour. There's still a couple of things that I want to buy and add and school starts on Monday so slowly over the year I will definitely add things but this is basically what I have for the first day of school. Okay so when you walk in this is what my classroom looks like so I guess let me just start from the front and I am gonna try to not show some things just for the privacy of my school um, so up here is where I'm going to have them put their journals if they want because of COVID I will let them just take them back and forth if they want to or they can keep them here so I have baskets for each class period over there is just a cute little cart that has like pencils pens some supplies and cute little fake flower decor on the board over there is just general information, bell schedule, um, up top I have a bunch of like motivational posters that I got on Amazon. And oh if it wants to focus, over here in the corner is my desk area so some of the stuff and decorations like this gold polka dot was left by the previous teacher. So this is basically my corner, I have more fake flowers, um, let me show you guys my setup. Fake flower arrangement, I have these all throughout my classroom. A Little bit of Ray done. Um, my setup, so I have my monitor. I do prefer to work off my personal MacBook. Wireless charger and then my school issued laptop because there are some things that I have to do using that one. Wireless charger, I have um, an essential oil diffuser and then just my phone, printer, general stuff like that. This corner I have fridge microwave and my Keurig machine and then on the wall I'm working on covering it in photos of friends family so I will eventually cover all of those Ooh. this chair I got from Ikea and then of course gotta have my longhorns hook em horns board is just general info and then my longhorn banner over here is a filing cabinet the last teacher actually had like a bunch of files, but most things are digital now, so I'm actually just going to kind of use it like storage, so I have like paper, first aid kit, different things like that. I bought a bunch of Bad Bunny stickers that I'm going to kind of subtly place around. I also put <laughs> two of them right there. Up here, another fake flower arrangement, welcome sign, a lamp, and I'll show you guys my lighting at the end. These are going to be treats for kids who participate. I'm also gonna get like a giant sticker bin um, just to kind of make it fun. Then in here are just some general supplies and my oils for the diffuser. Okay, back wall, I have just my built-in bookshelf, textbooks, class sets stuff like that um i have a lot of leftover water because of covid last year they would bring us water these are two lamps that i don't really know if i want so they're kind of just there kleenex and cleaning supplies because of covid and then more fake flowers i also on the wall have my lovely cactus posters over here more ray done and then i have another oil diffuser just to kind of keep the room smelling good on the wall these don't really fit like the vibe of the room but these were left by the previous teacher so just some english things like that and then i have a couple of lamps around the room and the way that i set my desk up is kind of different so there is this walkway in the middle, half that way, half that way, and they face each other. And I'll see how this goes at first, but I think that I will like this more than having like super long rows. <sighs> this thing right here, I put on this morning and the sticker started coming off. So I had to go in with Sharpie and fill some of it in. So it looks kind of janky, but on the back wall, I think I want to have more like inspirational quotes and eventually maybe put up some of my students' classwork. That broom left by the previous teacher, I believe her classroom was Harry Potter theme. I'm just gonna leave it there because why not? Back here I have my cupboard that just kind of has random like supplies, random like pencils, extra paper towels, lots of hand sanitizer and like spray trash bags, 
um, kind of just general stuff like that. Those are headphones and then the last teacher left some um, Christmas paper and so I do have lots of storage back here. And over here I have another bookshelf that has like some paper on top of it and then just other books. Extra bins right there in case I need them and some Clorox cleaning wipes. Up top I have more fake plants and another lamp. And then basically this last part of the classroom, I have a chalkboard. I kind of just decorated with some um, burlap garland and I actually made these arrangements. It was super cheap at Walmart. Each of these rings, or actually the pack of rings was like $3, put some fake plants on it. And at the bottom down there, I also like strung some fake vine. Another fake plant and then this is a project that my kids did last year um that is pretty much it and let me show you guys the lighting so i have a bunch of lamps and lights around my room i actually prefer working and the kids also do with the lamps on and the main lights out because sitting under these fluorescent lights all day long is just not super fun so let me plug all of my lights in and show you guys what it looks like so i strung these all across and then I have another lamp Okay, and then I have one more lamp back behind my desk, up here, boom. So this is what it looks like, and when the projector is on, that also will give off lots of light, so this is kind of just more calming, it's yellow light, and not super harsh like the white fluorescent lights. Oh, I forgot to show you guys these desk stickers. So I got these chalk stickers from Hobby Lobby and then I got chalk marker or chalk paint to number all of them. So you'll see in the top right corner of every single desk, there is a number. Okay, so that was just a super quick classroom tour. If you guys have questions about where I got anything, just leave them down in the comments below. I am about to enter my second year as a teacher. I teach ninth grade English in Texas, so make sure to subscribe for more teacher videos, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.